But we got to get to one other thing that we're watching here today, and it's kind of yesterday's activity as Yesterday, we saw the major U.S. indices have their worst day of 2023 Tuesday, while Treasury yields surged, adding to investor concerns there. Fed officials will release minutes from its early February meeting later today and give a glimpse of how high interest rates could go here. Now, of course, Julie, as we think about this, this is backwards looking. This is the meeting minutes for the meeting that took place January 31st through February 1st. And ultimately, we got a decision. But since then, we've got even more economic data that's really unveiled continued job gains that we saw in January, of course, that did lap uh, some un kind of seasonal or seasonal trends that we typically see in a January report. But we also saw um, inflation slow down less than expected in the most recent CPI reading. And then we're waiting for PCE to still come forward here. Well, and we've also had a couple of non-voting members of the Fed say they saw reason to raise by 50 right. basis points by a half a percent. Right. And even though they're not necessarily representative of the whole, they're not representative of the whole, we know, because that's not the decision that the Fed made. Mm -hmm. But people are going to be looking in the minutes to see if there were any voting members of the Fed, maybe, who were leaning in that direction. As it is, we're now seeing the market price in three more quarter point hikes at the next three meetings. Some people are even looking for half a point increases mm -hmm. at one point or another. So that's really what's been spooking the markets over the past few days. We are seeing a bounce back from those levels today, but that could potentially change when we get the minutes out later today if the perception is flipped on its head once again. We've got PCE later this week as well, which could again throw some wrenches into that equation. So there's still a lot of questions about what, what the Fed's going to do. Yeah, within that transcript, it'll be interesting to see to what extent there was at that meeting a little bit of Fed fisticuffs, if you will, in terms of the tenor of the discussion that was taking place there and the policy perspective, and to what extent that carries through to that March 21st and 22nd meeting as well. In the meantime, though, in this kind of bounce back that we had seen in some of the more risky assets that were out there in the market, that we had seen in consumer discretionary, XLK as well in technology even. Those have been still up year to date in a sector performance basis. XLY, consumer discretionary up by about 13% year to date. That's seen a little bit of a pullback over the past few sessions as investors get a little bit more of the inclination to parse through what some of the details were and the Fed speak that had emerged as well as XLK technology seeing a little bit of a pullback in recent sessions too here.